Hello neighbor. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm making another member of Mr. Rogers Neighborhood called Don Quixote, which I don't remember seeing this character at all as a little kid, but the grown up in me is very happy that Don Quixote is a pun on Don Quixote. <laughs> I have not actually read Don Quixote, but I'm holding on to the book because uh, I've been told it's a story that is better appreciated when you're a little bit older. <laughs> and uh, I'm hoping someday I will be mature enough to actually sit through a book that starts with like 20 pages of letters, including a letter to the donkey. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, apparently Don Quixote lived someplace else. So not quite in the neighborhood of make-believe, but like a adjoining neighborhood. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna make Don Quixote now. <laughs>
And here we have Don Quixote. Now, since I didn't remember anything about Don Quixote, I decided to just research Don Quixote real quick to see if I could, like, infuse some personality into this puppet. Because I, I don't remember watching Don Quixote. And I found out that there's actually a spinoff around Don Quixote and they changed it. So it's now a, like, white, not white, uh, it's now a yellow donkey with, like, a purple hair. <laughs> like good for you <laughs> that you got this whole rebranding thing instead of just like this is the mellow like version of like hard working and the new version is kind of like the um what's it called like Don Quixote got a makeover you know <laughs> uh, yeah we have Don Quixote here I guess he can go like or oh, wait it can create like the sound like yeah some foley effects here like <laughs> now for making uh don quixote this was clearly the simplest puppet i've made so far simply because it has no arms and it has no outfit <laughs> So, all I had to do was make the head, and that was it. Uh, although, the yarn that I used, I guess, was thicker than the yarn I used in the past, because uh, I, I kind of need two fingers to fill this out. And overall, it was pretty simple. I would say my main complaint came with the ears, because what they wanted me to do was... Um, so, they had me finish here, and then told me to leave a yarn a long like thread to fasten like in order to fasten the ears onto it but they left the long thread in the one part of the ear that's not going to be sewn to Don Quixote they had three corners and they chose the one corner that I assume was the point of the ear <laughs> in order for it to work so I I mean I made it work I I threaded it through and you probably wouldn't have been able to notice except for the fact that I just told you. Other than that, it's a nice, delightful little puppet. And with this, we are halfway through Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Can you believe it? Can you believe it, Don Quixote? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll try someone else next time. And, uh... Until then, that was today's entertainment. Have a nice day.